thank you for your kind introduction. Speaker Martin Romualdez, please uh, take your seat. Uh, our Interior and Local Government Secretary, uh, Ben Her Abalos. Uh, DOST Secretary, uh, Secretary Renato Solidum Jr. The uh, Province of Leyte, Governor Carlos uh, Jerico Pitilla. Uh, Tacloban City, Mayor Alfred uh, Romualdez. Uh, my fellow workers in government of Secretary Anton uh, Lagdameo, other distinguished guests, uh, our other governors who are also here today, and the congressmen who have joined us today, uh, good afternoon. Today we launched the Visayas leg of Handa Pilipinas to showcase the various disaster risk reduction and management initiatives of the government. This is done in collaboration with many, st many st stakeholders and partners since Super Typhoon Yolanda struck the country. And beyond that, also I see some technologies that have been developed uh, during uh, the COVID uh, pandemic uh, that hit uh, the, rest, the whole world uh, in the recent years. But putting our experience at the heart of this event reminds us of the calamity that brought unimaginable destruction to the Visayas, to the Philippines. It serves as a po poignant rem reminder of the power of nature and our vulnerability to that power. More importantly, it underscores the importance of disaster risk reduction and management in the Philippines. The Filipino spirit is incredible. It has been demonstrated during and in the aftermath of Yolanda and of COVID. Our ability to come together, to support one another, to rebuild during such adversity is always an inspiration. We therefore owe it to ourselves and to the future to learn from this experience and make sure that such devastation will be mitigated or somehow prevented because we are now better prepared and we are now better adapted to the vagaries of uh, very severe weather uh, events. The government remains committed to advancing our country's disaster resilience. And of course, we must recognize the role of the Department of Science and Technology in this undertaking. The DOST has been instrumental in developing cutting edge technologies for disaster risk prevention, the mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery. I am confident that the technologies featured in this event, such as the mobile command post, the triaging trailer tent, the other collapsible toilet bowl, upgraded emergency disinfection system, fire blankets, unsinkable portaboat, and water ambulance, amongst others, will be of great help during relief and rescue operations. The emergency food reserve as well, as the complementary food and food products are also good additions to our survival kits during calamities. So let us also remember that collaboration amongst governments, agencies, local governments, and the private sector and communities is the key to effective and successful disaster risk reduction and management. I was just having a uh, quick discussion with uh, Secretary Solidum and that we, uh, we were talking about, this is, a, this is the product of some very important research and development. And however, as, we, as the mayor has pointed out and the governor has pointed out, uh, we, we, well, first of all, we wish we had all of this 10 years ago when uh, after Yolanda struck. But now we have them here. And kung titignan natin ang mga teknolohiya na dala, na, dala ng DOST uh, ngayon na, na develop ng ating mga scientifico, ay talagang bagay na bagay para sa LGU. Uh, there are, they are in a small scale and they are directed for up to the, I can see some of this hanggang barangay health kit, pwede yan ipasok. Kaya sa akin ang sinasabi ko kay Secretary Solidum, ay sinasabi ko sa kanya, dapat magpatulong tayo sa private sector dahil madali namang ipaliwanag na may ready market ang LGU, may ready market ang uh, lahat ng mga produktong ito para sa ating mga LGU. Kaya te, kailangan eh, pagpatuloy natin ang pagdevelop, hindi na yung teknolohiya, kung hindi ang pagpababa ng presyo ng ating mga produkto at pagparami para maging available sa lahat ng ating mga LGU para naman magamit pantulong sa tao kapag may pangangailangan. 
So I implore everyone to maximize the use of these technologies to fast track the widespread adoption and commercialization. Let us also promote public awareness so that every citizen becomes more proactive, better informed, better equipped in times of, in of, of an emergency. Let us ensure that science and innovation continues to guide us in our endeavors. These are crucial to addressing the challenges in, in disaster risk reduction and staying ahead of the curve in disaster management. The world is rapidly changing. It is imperative that our ways and our strategies adapt and improve as well. So my fellow Filipinos, let us remember the lessons of the past, not with despair, but with the determination to learn and to change for the better, to be better prepared, to be better able to help our people. Let us unite and channel all our energies into building a safer, stronger, more resilient Philippines for ourselves and for future generations. Sa bagong Pilipinas na ating isinusulong, ang bawat Pilipino ay laging handa sa pagharap sa mga hamon ng buhay at sa pagtulong sa iba pang mga nangangailangan. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Congratulations dito sa ating magandang naging teknolohiya na ibibigay sa ating mga LG. Maraming maraming salamat at magandang tanghali po sa inyo. Thank you, Mr. President.